Toll Brothers shares are rallying, as they should, getting upgraded to outperform at RBC Capital following an amazing quarter and a very thoughtful uh, conference call, by the way. So here, joining us at Post 9, CNBC exclusive, Toll Brothers chairman and CEO, Doug Yearly. Doug, it is a delight to have you on our set. Thank you, Jim. Great to be here. Doug, this was a conference call where you basically kind of laid out what's happened in America to get us here, uh, to get us to where a million-dollar house Many people buy them with cash. And it has to do with a demographic story, but it has to do with underbuilding. Maybe you can explain to people why it's not inflation as much as just there was no choice. Supply is not going to ever equal demand, maybe even in our lifetime. That's right. This is not an inflation story. It's not something to be afraid of when I think the Fed is figuring out what to do. This is a story about 15 years of underbuilding in this country. There's a huge supply-demand imbalance. On top of that, we have incredible demographics right now. 75 million millennials are now buying homes in their mid-30s, as opposed to the boomers that bought in their late 20s. They're wealthier, they're more established, and they're ready to go. And then you have the 75 million boomers that are going through life changes and they're buying homes as they downsize. And you put all that together, and remember, we took a nine-month pause. When rates went from 3 to 7 last May, from May until the end of 22, we didn't sell very many homes as the market digested these new rates and the higher prices that came through COVID. And then January hits, it's the spring selling season, and the buyers come back out. They've absorbed the new rate. They don't love it. Right. I don't love it. But there's enough buyers out there with those demographics and with that pent-up demand that the market is still pretty good. Will you talk about something, because you are a student of this, the ratio of new home versus used home for sale. And because of the lock-in, as you call it, right. we just don't have that used home surplus. So historically, for many decades, 10 to 15 percent of the homes sold in this country are new. 85 to 90 percent are resales. Today, 35 percent of the homes sold in this country are new. And the reason is because 90 percent of the mortgages in this country are under 5 percent. Most people that own a home have a, th a mortgage in the threes. They either bought the home at a three or they refied into a three. And they feel locked into that rate. You can't trade the rate to a new house. So the resale market is incredibly tight. When you go out and look for a home on the resale market, you realize there's no inventory. So now more people are gravitating to new, plus more people want new. I'm really proud of what we do. Our houses, our communities are really, really nice. We offer choice. We offer the ability to customize your home to your lifestyle, and we can build you a home in the next year, plus we're building more spec inventory to fill that void from the, from the resale market. So it's a combination of no homes on the resale market and this, this drive, this move towards new construction. Where do you think rates would need to go for people to slip out of those velvet handcuffs and say, okay, I'm willing to be mobile as, yeah. as a homeowner again? So I'm really surprised that in the 6 to 7 percent range, we have as much activity as we do. So, boy, you bring it down into the fives, and you're going to have more people that say, I don't need to hang on to this three and a half. Remember, a house is not just an investment. People are moving on with their lives. They're moving up. The kids are buying the first house. The boomers are buying their downsized house. You know, I want my kids in a better school, in the better town. I want the bigger house. I want the Toll Brothers home. So there's a lot more to this than just the straight rate. But I think as that gap narrows, if we can get between the three and a half they're in and the five, five and a half, I think we're going to see even more activity. There's going to be more action on the resale market, and there's going to be more move-up buyers into our business. It bothers me, Doug, that your industry sometimes gets a bad rap. It sounds like, well, why do they just build a lot more homes and, and, and just make it so it's okay? You have discipline. Yeah. The discipline is what makes it so that your stock is a great investment. You're not doing anything that is wrong, so to speak. You're meeting the demand. You try. It's not like people are saying, here's 10 million new acres, go to work. Right. You have to negotiate hard just to be able to find land to build on. It's incredibly difficult to get land in title, Jim, nationwide. I mean, there's a few pockets where it's predictable, it's short, but... In coastal markets, it can be three to six years to take a raw piece of land through the process. That it may involve 30 permits before you're ready to go. So there is a very 
tight, tight supply of land that's not going to change. And yes, our industry gets a bad rap. They really I mean, do. The, 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 S the average S&P 500 company is trading at 18 times earnings. We're at six. It's and I don't consider us average, okay? Uh, with a balance sheet the best ever. Uh, well, look, you're a joy to have on, and, uh, and the passing of Mr. Toll is, yes. well, let's just talk about that. We celebrate Bob every day. I want to tell about your legacy, because you're a Philadelphia company. You were a local home builder who went national. You always decided you wanted to be premium. When right. people say that you sold, sell homes for a million dollars, they might just say, Wait a second, Toll Brothers, not some little, they're, they are causing the inflation. They're in a million. No. But that's just the opposite of what's happening. That's right. 40% of our homes today are sold to first time buyers. We have lots of homes at 500,000, 700,000. We also have homes in California at two and a half million. We are America's luxury home builder. We built the brand, and we're very proud of that band, brand. And Bob Toll and his brother Bruce who started the company in the 60s in Philadelphia, took it public in the late 80s. Uh, he passed away in, in October. I was at his side for 32 years. He taught me everything, and it's, I'm just really proud of what this company does.